Hi and welcome to this first tutorial. In this we're going to learn basic masking, separating the object from its background. On the left hand side is a tool palette and on the top of the tool palette are the brushes with which you lay down your keep and delete mask. Looking at the image you'll see that it's broken down into objects by thin blue lines which follow the natural shapes. These are guides to your masking. Now I'm going to mask the background out using a Delete Local Mask brush coloured red. The green ones are for Keep Mask. You will see that the mask floods to the edges of the blue lined objects. OK, that's the background deleted. Now we're going to paint green keep mask over the foreground. We can do this in two ways. Either mask using the keep brushes or secondly, an easier way, by going to the image menu and autofill the image with keep mask. There we go. Now we can create a cutout by going to the Create Cutout icon on the Tool Palette menu, there. Let's look at the mask in more detail. You'll see the line of blue blend mask has been automatically laid between the Keep and Delete masks. The blend mask creates a degree of edge transparency making the edges smooth to the eye. Let's look at the blend mask in more detail and you can see the background coming through pretty much uniformly making for this smoothness. That is the job of the blend mask creating an accurate and authentic decontamination of foreground and background colors. That's masking at its most basic. There are lots of tools and tricks to help you on many kinds of images in these tutorials and in the tool tips on the application and in the manual. Also consider going to our daily live tutorials and ask some questions.